Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got an awesome bunk model floor plan for you and it's definitely different, a little bit unique in the fact that it has one giant super slide with the refrigerator, the dinette and the bunk room, you know, all in one. It's a pretty funky little setup. This is the 2023 North Trail 24 DBS. Hopefully the specifications will pop up on the screen. Just bought a computer to do some basic you know, editing, you know, things like that. Try to make these videos a little bit better. But if you guys like what I'm doing here and value this video, if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button for me. You know, I'd greatly appreciate it. And then my contact information is down in the description, you know, if you're in the market for an RV. But again, it's the 2023 North Trail 24 DBS. And I think this is one you're gonna really love. The North Trail is one of my favorite travel trailer brands. I think they're beautiful. The construction with the Asdale, you know, sidewalls, just, just awesome all the way throughout. They have the gray tones, the white countertops, the woodblock accent, you know, and even a little bit of black here and there, and it's looking really sharp. So what I was saying is this slide right here, this is what makes this camper unique. That is all one massive slide, so pretty darn cool. So since this is a bunk model, I figure I'll start back in the back here with the, you know, the bunk and the bathroom and all that but you're gonna find you get two bunks. They're both the oversized kind of double bunk style. So a little bit bigger than a twin, a little bit less than a full, pretty nice size. They also have a 300 pound capacity. You're also gonna notice window on both bunks, which is pretty nice. They both, so both open up for a nice breeze. I'm having a hard time talking today. Both open up for a nice breeze and they also both have blinds, you know, so that way you can kind of block out the sun. And uh, yeah, that's enough for that, I suppose. Um, they do both lift up as well, so you know you can lift them up. This bottom one lifts up to some pretty good storage. Uh, so you know you can store kind of your maybe your stowaway items, some things that you want to hide away, you don't get out as much, some linen, some blankets, maybe a, little, a couple little totes with some uh, you know camping equipment. Who knows? That's up to you, I suppose. Right back here, you get some cubbies. You get an outlet there to your right, an emergency exit. You can open it up for a good breeze, or you know, if your kids want to drive you nuts, they can pull those tabs, kick it out, and run away from you. You also get the blackout shade, so that way you can block out the sun or keep some nosy eyes out. Access panel here uh, for some of your stuff in your bathroom. So you just unscrew that. That gets you into access to some of your plumbing, you know, things of that nature. Uh, you also have a place where you can sneak in, you know, a little TV. So you have your cable hookup and then your, you know, appropriate plugins. So whether it's, you know, TV or PlayStation or, you know, whatever they're doing on a rainy day. You're good to go. Uh, I forgot to also mention all these lights here, these three, they're all on the clicker lights, you know, so that's pretty nice. And then you'll notice, since this all is one slide, there's not like one solid hard door going into this bunk room. So how they overcame that was they added in this door that folds. So it's magnets and it's a pretty darn strong magnet, as you can see, I just yanked on that pretty good. But you got the magnet and the tab, and all you do is you pull it, and then you snap it in, you know, right there. And that's how they get some privacy. So that is pretty darn neat. That is something I haven't really seen before, except inside this model. So pretty cool. Let me go ahead and fold that back up, push it where it needs to go. And then the bathroom in this one, since this is kind of a smaller size travel trailer, I love the bathroom. So you get just enough countertop space. They put in a little small sink here. Um, but it's, you know, good enough to get what you need to get done. You got a little mirror right there. Show off that bowling gun, baby. Got bowling in a couple days. Had a rough week this week, but uh, I don't know. With an arm like that, can't be, can't be kept down for long. LP water heater, LP water pump, electric water heater. And this is also where you check all your tank levels. So, you know, your battery, fresh tank, black tank, gray tank, galley tank, all that good stuff. An outlet. I love the woodblock finish in here. You also get some access to your plumbing, you know, and a little bit of storage. Swinging around. Looks like they put in, I don't know why they did this, but uh, I guess just a little bit more storage to put just a few more things. Kind of some of your smaller stuff, I suppose. But then you got this pretty good size shower, which I'm a big fan of. So a couple places to put your soaps and shampoos. You know, it's not one of the showers that are so small. You got to tape a sponge to the side and spin, you know, just to be clean. You can actually take a normal functional shower. You also got a place to get in a little bit of extra light. And I do like how they have this. Instead of having the glass pane 
Um, they actually, you know, added this in, so you just fold and it snaps right there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool for sure. And then right down here, you got yourself, you know, your toilet. So it's got the foot flush, and uh, you're ready to roll. Do your business. So that brings us out into the main area. You know, we're going to be sitting down, having some dinner, watching some TV. Before you get there, right as you walk in the door, you do have this nice pantry with those little octopus fellas just hanging there, hanging out, waiting to get a coat as a friend. Bada bing, bada boom. Oversized U-shaped dinette that you can also turn into a sleeper, you know, much like every other camper, but you basically take out these legs and you drop it down and it'll sit, you know, right on top of those little ledges. Also, both left and right, you get some pretty good storage. That goes all the way up against the wall. Outlet right there as well to charge your devices. Slide height on the North Trail, not as tall as some other ones, but definitely not going to be, you know, bonking your head when you're just going to sit. So I'm six feet tall for reference. I'd probably put that somewhere, I don't know, maybe like 5'9 or 5'8, somewhere around there. But you do get a really nice size window that opens up. Again, it's got the nightshade, so that way you can block out the sun. Swing it around directly across from the dinette. You do have this absolutely massive Summit TV. Looks like it's probably, it's like a 45 inch, something like that. Little cubby right there. IRV technology speakers with zone one and two. That's going to be inside and outside. AM, FM, aux, USB, HDMI, and a fireplace that puts out 5,100 BTUs of heat. So definitely more than enough to heat up this entire camper. And then this is nice too. They have that little hidden storage back there. So you can put some of your more, you know, kind of valuable stuff that you want to hide. Or maybe even just organize some remotes, you know, or something like that. But either way, pretty cool. Not any wasted space in the camper, which is always nice. So right over here, you got kind of a funky little setup for the kitchen, which I'm a big fan of, uh, which allows you to have plenty of countertop space. And then uh, this is going to be solid surface countertop. And babe, if you're watching, I love you. Can't wait to come home. We got date night tonight. We're going to watch Survivor, cook up some steaks. You know, going to be a good one. Absolutely massive stainless steel single bowl. You also got a little faucet right here underneath. Access to your plumbing and just a little bit of storage. And then you got two pull-out drawers. Both of them are going to be looking just like this. And this is going to be, you know, your welcoming packet uh, from Heartland with things like, you know, your owner's manual for your microwaves and all that. And this is a drying rack uh, that goes on top, you know, of, uh, of the sink. Greystone oven. So enough room to cook yourself up a couple pizzas or, you know, sheet of cookies, something like that. Three stove top burner, a new backsplash here for the 2023. You get an outlet over to the left. Little Furion hood there with the fan. And you got a light that you can turn on. Greystone microwave. Cook yourself up some popcorn. And then you got some pretty good overhead storage here as well. So there's that. And then this is all, you know, one piece. So it connects over there. And then it wraps on in right over there. Keep swinging it around. You get your Dometics. This is going to be your thermostat. So you can control your heat and your AC. On and off switch there for the bedroom lights. And an outlet. And this is going to be your 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator with a stainless steel finish by Everchill. So what I like about the 12 volt refrigerator is it cools down a little bit faster, you know, than a normal residential refrigerator, but it also is powered by 12 volts. So if you're not familiar with that, you know, it's, um, can run off your battery. It can run off the solar, your truck, you know, shore power. It's just a little bit more versatile. Plus the gas and electric refrigerators that, you know, typically go inside travel trailers or not typically anymore, I suppose, you know, will actually be affected by the sun. So if the sun was beaten down on the other side, the freezer wouldn't keep it frozen. This 12 volt refrigerator is just like the one in your home. You know, it's just maybe a little bit smaller and runs off some different power. So that brings us into the bedroom here. And as you can see, you get your big boy, you know, king size bed so you can roll around. You actually got a lot of countertop space here too, you know, running down the side. And then you got an outlet. Let's see what that thing is. And a USB charger. 
we flip this up. Oh, gosh almighty. Little bit of storage here underneath. And then more there. Got a window, both left and right. This one's just going to be a normal window, opens up for a good cross brace. And then this one is going to be more of your emergency exit. So pull, push, and pop, you're on the road. Little cubby right there. Big storage there beneath it. Let me see if I can reach on through. But that goes all the way through, connects over with that one. And then both left and right are going to be the same in terms of this. A little bit of hanging space. And if you guys have made it this far, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe button for me, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. Let me unsnap the door here. A little bit more storage up top, place where you can hook up, you know, your cable and then your TV outlet. And then you got more storage, you know, right here to hang some items or put some of your stowaway stuff. But guys, I think that about does it for the inside portion of this tour. I hope you guys liked it. Again, this is the 2023 North Trail 24 DBS. Now I'm going to go around the outside, show you a couple things that I think are pretty neat. So you had your solid surface entry steps. Those fold up right into the door. You also get a couple outlets right here. And then you're going to notice you have an oversized awning on this, which is nice. And you also have the LED lights. Again, the size of that awning will be down in the description of this video. Two marine grade outside speakers. So that's going to be your zone two on that IRV technology system I was showing you. Freshwater connection. Low point drains here underneath. You also have the power stabilizers, which I'll show you the controls for. But those are going to be on the other side of the camper. You got an LP quick connect. Bumper with the spare tire. And then up here on the back right there, you'll see that is where it is prepped for a Furion observation camera. So $550, you get yourself a camera that you suction cup right onto the windshield of your camper. So that way you can see what's going on behind you with distance markers. You can also angle it down at your bumper. So that way, you know, you can kind of stop before you run into anything. Pretty much a good, uh, you know, good argument stopper there without uh, someone yelling at you how you're backing it up. You know, it definitely makes life a little easier. Hook up for the Lippert on the go ladder. So you go to Lippert.com, you purchase that, you can get on top of this. It is a fully walkable roof. So make sure to go up there, check your seals, check your slides, make sure there's no debris on them, you know, before uh, closing them up. And if you would like, you can add a slide topper. They are prepped for it. So you know they're prepped for it because they have that little Solera tag right there. But essentially, 700 bucks covers the entire slide. And keep in mind, this is that super slide. So it's a piece of awning that goes on top of here. And it's any of the debris that falls down on it, you know, pine needles, tree branches, rain, sun, you know, any of that will be, you know, repelled off of it once you go and close it up. Outside shower right here. Hot and cold water access, your city water connection. And then you got yourself a black tank flush. If you're not familiar with that, it's basically a sprinkler system there. Uh, for your black tank, for your poop tank. This is the control for the power stabilizer, so extend and retract. All your sewer outlet connections are going to be right under here. Dual axle, and you can tell they got that wide stance there, which just kind of helps out to make a nice, you know, even sturdy ride. And then here's going to be your gray tank, and there's going to be the nozzle for that. There's the other control for the front power stabilizers. And this is going to be the back end here of the pass-through storage. And I like how they added the linoleum in there. I think it makes it look really nice. LED lights up the front. We're going to provide you with a battery, full propane. Uh, you also get, you know, the power stabilizing jack, which is nice. Extend, retract, just like that. You're good to go. But yeah, guys, I think I about wrapped it up. This is the 2023 North Trail 24 DBS. My name is Hunter. Have a good night. See ya.